Uh, what is Ethereum? Ethereum has done very, very well. Uh, $1,265. I have been, you know, I have been, you know, speculating that we could potentially drop all the way down to, you know, $400. But again, just looking at the monthly timeframes, uh, you know, especially the monthly MACDs, there's a lot of questions to be asked right now. So you can see when you look at the monthly MACD of Ethereum, uh, it looks like we are finalizing, you know, this downtrend. Now, I'm not expecting, you know, Ethereum to bottom at the same time as Bitcoin. And in fact, you know, I think Ethereum is more likely going to trade sideways until sometimes in mid or late 20. 24. But looking at the monthly MACD of Ethereum, uh, it looks very, very similar to this period right here, guys. Very, very similar to this period right here. And this was from February of 2019, you know, all the way until June of 2020. So this is a very, very long time right here, guys. I mean, we are talking about uh, how many days? 486 days. This is basically Ethereum, you know, trading sideways. And in fact, you know, we can say that this was the accumulation phase uh, for Ethereum. We bottomed, you know, sometimes in... In January of 2019, around $80, uh, we had a nice move all the way up to 365. Uh, but of course, in 2020, you know, early 2020, we came back down, you know, to retest the bottom. So this was the this was the double bottom right here, guys. $80 and $80 Ethereum, and I think the same thing is more likely to play out. Uh, I don't think we are going to see, you know, anything crazy until mid or late 2024. And if 800, you know, if $860 was the bottom for Ethereum, uh, I think we are going to come back, you know, to revisit this bottom right here before the beginning of the next bull market. Uh, but looking at what's happening right now with the monthly MACD, again, it looks you know, very, very similar to this period right here. You can see the histogram. These bars are pink right here, guys. They're no longer, they were no longer red. So if we were to see another, you know, if we go from right here, if we were to see another 486 days, if we go from right here, you know, the moment we dropped all the way down to, you know, $1,000 all the way up to another 486 days, you know, that takes us all the way until March of 2024. Again, I don't think we are going to see anything major until sometimes in 2024, guys. So this could be the beginning of the next bull market for ethereum you know ethereum this will basically you know look like this where ethereum you know trades you know sideways for the entire 2023 and you know a couple months in 2024 now you know trading sideways doesn't necessarily mean that we have a $1,200 Ethereum for the entire 2023 and all the way into 2024. But what that means is that there is a range that we're going to trade in. Uh, that could be between $800 and $2,000. So we could see a huge rally, you know, sometimes in 2023, all the way up to $2,000. And then we come back down, you know, to retest $800 for the final time and then sometimes in 2024 you know it could be early 2024 
mid 2024 or late 2024 we finally break out and that will be the beginning of the next bull market for ethereum uh if we you know if we base this on you know different indicators uh if the magd you know was your buy signal you know you would have bought ethereum sometimes around you know june of 2020 around 230 dollars and you would have stayed on the sideline for the entire 2018 and the entire 2019 and for the first part of 2020. If the monthly MACD is going to be a buy signal, then you have to stay on the sideline and you have to wait for this buy confirmation right here, you know, something like this. And that is not something that you're going to see you know, anytime soon, because you might get something like this where, you know, we continue to finalize, but then this blue line is kind of flat, you know, towards the end of 2023 and the first couple months of 2024, you know, just like we were flat right here from June of 2019 all the way until, you know, June of 2020. And you can see this is an entire year. So you might get something very, very similar, guys. Like you might not get a buy signal, a MACD, a MACD buy signal until sometimes in mid or late 2024. And if the 21 monthly EMA is your buy signal, you know, you would have, you would have took a position, you know, sometimes in May 2019, uh, but you can see that this would have been, you know, the wrong, the wrong time to buy. Uh, but you would have took a position, you know, sometimes in June uh, 2020, you know, after breaking above $200, and you would have sold, you know, in early April of 2022 around $2,400. Uh, those are some great profits right there. So from right down here, and you ride it all the way up to $2,400, uh, you would have got, uh, what is it, 900% profits. So something interesting is happening right now, guys. You know, when you look at the technical aspect, uh, fundamentally, there's, there's a lot of noise in the market, uh, but if you look at the technicals and you block the noise, I think exciting times are ahead. And you know, you know what my predictions are in 2023. Uh, I think you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, many of these projects uh, are going to trade higher you know, sometimes in 2023. And I do believe that the next bull market you know, starts in 2024 and looking at the technicals, you know, something like this, you know, is getting me excited. Uh, we continue to finalize, you know, this bear market. And at some time in the near future, we are going to get the buy signal. And we are going to kick off the next bull market.